when me and my brother go to grandpa's house, it can be confusing to know if I should be hanging out with dad or grandpa because whenever I go to grandpa's house before my dad lived with him, it was like, oh, I'm here to see grandpa. I get to spend time with grandpa. And now it's like, I'm at grandpa's house, but my dad lives here too. When I see my dad, I'd like to have some privacy with him, but often my grandpa is there and rightfully so. So it's kind of hard to have that like father-son relationship. My relationship with my father has gone distant. I tried to like FaceTime him, call him, text him, but he hasn't had enough money to pay for his phone bill. So communication with him has been very short. I do remember when I was little, my dad went to Florida and I asked him on the phone, when will I see you again? He just said he couldn't afford to get back at the time. And it took him about a month. I've been really missing my dad, even though we might have not done much together. The presence of being with my dad was nice. If my dad doesn't change, it's going to continually weaken our relationship. I just hope that he knows that me, my brother, my mom, my grandpa, we're all doing this because we love him so much that we want him to be in a better situation. Well, Dylan, Lily, thank you guys for being here. Parents are the most powerful role models in children's lives. And this role model is kind of confusing, right? Yes. What, what do you think about this? It's, it's just an awkward situation for us all. It's, it's been a hard situation, and it's been going on for such a long time, and I, I just want things to change. What do you want to see happen here? I would like to see my, my dad move out of my grandpa's house and live on his own in a, a financially independent situation and uh -huh. so, so he can take pride in his own life. Do you want them to be proud of you? Yeah. And you got to be proud of yourself. Right. And you're not. No. I mean, you don't like what you're doing, right? No, I, I sit around and cry about it a lot. You can do better. You know you can do better. Mm -hmm. But it is tough. And I get that. It's tough because you're sitting at home and you're kind of just in a recliner and the TV's on and it's hard to get dressed and get out there and you don't know how to get started and it's just, it's inertia. Right. It's just stagnation. Her ex-husband is living with her father in her childhood bedroom on a bunk bed. He pays no rent, has no job, and he's been there for five and a half years. He wore out the lazy boy, right? It takes a lazy boy to break a lazy boy. Alan is great at making excuses for not having a job. This is TV. Your world is fake. I don't mean to sound mean to you. Don't be mean. It's okay. New Dr. Phil.